Comedy is pleasure, and I enjoy pleasure. Hey, Dyer, enjoying your show? Well, I am watching it, aren't I? If I wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't be watching it. Now, wouldn't I, Steve? Well, it's just that you've been glued to the television for a while, and you promised that you would pay the rent this month. Steve, listen. I hear you, and I would love to pay that rent. But... I have no money. No, no money? I saw you order a large pizza for dinner yesterday. Don't tell me you used my card. Steve, I'm shocked, shocked that you would think that I would taint your trust by stealing your credit card and using it to buy a pizza for myself and not share any with you. I, I'm sorry, Dyer. I didn't mean to accuse you. It's okay. Besides, I took cash from your wallet. I know credit scores are important to you. Dang it, Dyer. When I allowed you to live here, we made an agreement that we would split the utilities. And we are. You pay for the rent water, electricity, and gas, while I pay for the food with my government assistance. Dyer, that's not contributing to the household. I keep this place clean, don't I? I'll clean that up later. Dyer, you either get a job to earn your keep around here, or you move out. Yes, Steve, let me just go outside and get a job at my local franchise corner dollar store. Oh, wait, I have a high school diploma and never finished college. You do the math, math boy. Dyer, finding a job can't be that hard. Let's go out and see what places are hiring. I have a better idea. Hey, Zoltans, can I have a job? Hey, Dyer, and what? Can I have a job? I'm trying to prove a point to Steve. And what is this said point exactly? That getting a job is harder said than done? If you just started applying yourself more, Dyer, maybe you would have more opportunities. Listen to this guy. Applying is what you do with lotion when you're lonely. If I apply any further, I'll be like peanut butter on toast. And almost 1.1% of the general population has a peanut allergy, Steve. Is that what you want, Steve? People dying due to you spreading peanut butter all over the world? Dyer has a point, Steve. Employment is easy to come by, even if you have a diploma or experience of any kind. Companies want people who have 24-7 availability, and are willing to give up their free time just for $15.25 an hour, with no benefits. See, Steve? That's why I opened up my own shop. I set my own hours, sell merchandise I'm confident in, and can personally answer my customers' questions and concerns. I hardly do, but I like having the option to, if I feel like it. See, Steve, people don't want to work for other more richer people. They want to own. They want independence. And by me allowing you to pay for rent, I'm giving you a purpose and independence. Now let's go back home. Okay, cool! I'll live with someone actually cover the rent and not push their responsibilities off on someone else like a jerk. Because that's what you're doing, Steve. Jerking off your responsibilities onto someone else. And once you start jerking off, you'll get hair on your palms and stains in your socks and thus will lead to you wasting 50 bucks on a new pair of socks because of inflation, which I know you get off to. <coughs> you, Steve. Dyer, all I simply ask is that you pay the rent that you promised. And I will simply vow you will be crawling back to me. You can bet on that, Steve! Gee, it sure is quiet without Dyer around. This actually feels nice. Maybe now I can focus on getting that promotion at work. Hey, 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 hey! Watch where you're throwing your sh- Dyer, is that you? Yes, is I, Dyer, living in my new humble abode. I haven't seen you for months since Steve kicked you out. No, I kicked him in. It's good to know you're alive and, well, just alive. But you can't live behind my store in your little fort. I'm not living behind. I'm living adjacent. I'm at a parallel to your little shop there. Right. And this is no mere fort. This is my mansion. Dyer, just pay the rent. What you're living in is no home. Zoltans, home is where the heart is. And I have the heart and home of a champion. And the smell of a dumpster fire. Yeah, that's probably the dumpster. It supports the mansion. And I can't just abandon my hobohood. Hobohood? Yes. My hobohood. I made a spiderweb of connections with others of my kind. Your kind? You mean homeless people? We prefer the term homely challenged. Right. We hunt, we forge, we trade goods from those who throw out perfectly good wares. We call them the waste givers. Hey boss, the new gym and a pizza crust on Commercial Avenue just arrived. Ah, perfect! Bring me and my guests a sample of our shipment. Okay, boss. As you can see, I am held in high regards of my kind. I have made a living taking what you people call trash and turning it into items that my people crave. 
Speaking of Crave, pizza crust? No. Mmm, delicious. Take your old magic stuff, for example. They make great makeshift bongs. Stop going through my trash. No promises. Can I have my crack now? I don't know. Can you? May I have my crack now? Yes. Yes, you may. You're learning, hobo. Little by little, you're learning. Welcome to... Oh, it's just you, Steve. Hi, Zoltans. Whoa, Steve, you look like the walking dead. Well, I feel like it. Do you have any energy drinks or caffeine capsules? I need a pick-me-up. What you need is a shower. I really don't have the time. I'm on a thin work schedule. By the way, Zoltans, can, can I empty these bottles here? Uh, what's in the bottle? Uh... Is it lemonade? Uh, well, it used to be. That's a bottle of your... May I ask, why are you carrying a bottle of your... <laughs> Ever since I started working overtime, I've just been too busy to cook, clean, wash... Don't forget... For myself. I thought I would have enough time, but my boss just keeps giving me more hours and I can't get anything in my personal life done. Steve, calm down. You're probably over-exaggerating. Damn, Steve, you live like this? I know, I know. My place is a mess. I just don't know what happened. Where have you been sleeping? I've been sleeping out of my car since my place became like this. On the bright side, it saves time getting to work. You're truly living your best life, Steve. I never realized Dyer kept the place clean. I thought he just lounged around all day and did nothing. Well, he obviously did something here. I can't believe I let my life get like this. I can't believe it either. By the time I come home, I'm too tired to do anything. Instead of cooking, I get takeout. When I'm ready to clean, it's time for work. Instead of washing my clothes, I just wear the same things over again. Instead of using a toilet, you use a bottle of Canada Dry. Wait, skip that. It isn't dry anymore. Just clean when it's your day off. Problem solved. I can't. Why not? Because I'm so close to this promotion. If I ask for a day off, my boss might think I'm not suited for the promotion and give it to someone else. Steve, no promotion is worth your mental and physical health. What is this promotion anyway? Vice Chief Executive Director of Advertising. Fancy name. What's it pay? Well, I don't know yet. But once I get promoted, it will have been worth it. Will it, Steve? Yeah, n no, uh... <sighs> I don't know anymore. What should I do, Zoltans? Because at the rate I'm going, I'm about to lose it! <sighs> Steve, you have three options. One, continue working overtime until you have a mental breakdown. Two, screw the promotion and get your life back together. Or three, get Dyer back. Is there a fourth option? Steve. Sadly, no. Dyer lives here parallel to your store? Yep. He's also a rich hobo. A rich hobo? Isn't that an oxymoron? Come in, the boss has been waiting for you. He has? Just jump the employee when they're dumping the stale donuts. I don't care if the employee gets hurt. It's the donuts I'm worried about. No boss. Ah, right on time. You're dismissed, peasant. Steve Zoltans, welcome to my mansion. Have you come to gaze upon my fortune or make an offer to join my empire? Well, actually, uh, Dyer, here's the thing. I've been trying to get a promotion at work, at my job. Lovely place, by the way. Um, the dictionary describes... God the damn it. Steve wants you back as his roommate again. If you're not busy, that is. What? I leave my empire of hobos to live with the sad working middle class. Were you not the one who said to get a job or get out? <sighs> Dyer, listen. I'm sorry. I thought you were a lazy, selfish, egotistical person who did nothing all day and took my kindness for granted. But? But I was wrong. You kept the apartment clean and leftovers in the fridge, so I have something to eat before and after work. I would be honored to have you back as my roommate. Hmm. 
Dyer! I'm thinking... Till I have to pay rent. Well, as long as you keep the apartment clean, I suppose not. And can I get an allowance? A an allowance? Yeah, my services don't come cheap. I have a current lifestyle I'm used to living, as you can clearly see. Steve, that mess will just keep growing if you don't. Trust me. Ugh. Yes, you'll get an allowance. Starting at $1,000 every week. A $1,000? It's a steep price to pay for a clean house. Yeah, but... For every week? Hobo, show them the door. Hold on, how about $50 bi-weekly? 900. 50. 800. 50. 700. 50. 500. 10. 50 it is, you got yourself a deal, Steve. Glad to have you back, Dyer. Hobo? Yes, boss. I tire of my empire. Light a match. Yes, boss. Why is he lighting a match? Funny thing, remember when you said my place smelled like a dumpster fire? Yeah? Well, inside that dumpster was some old gas cans. What? Yeah, we better leave before this place explodes. Well, I didn't get the promotion. Instead, my boss promoted an AI. Said an AI could do the job faster and didn't need time off. Well, Steve, there's a moral to all of this. Why, yes. Yes, there is, Dyer. Managing a healthy balance between work and life is hard, but you as a worker have the right to call off once in a while to take care of yourself. You're not a machine that a company can push around. You're a human being with a life, family, friends, hopes, dreams, No, that's and... not it! Oh, then what is the moral to take from this? Don't kick me out or I'll fill your house with <laughs> fucking trash!